This is going to be interesting. This game, Syrian Warfare, I heard a lot about it. It's a real-time strategy game placed in modern-day Syria. Now, I have heard pretty much everything about it, from that it being good, it being a Russian propaganda tool. But hey, I'm gonna give it a chance, and even if it's a propaganda tool, It'll be good. So, uh, let's see here. Iron Man is the four of emotions, realistic, and yeah, we're going to go with normal and see where this leads us. Who would have thought it would all turn out like this? It seemed like everything was so far from us. Civil disturbances, people with guns under a black banner. We thought it was somewhere far away, on the other side of the TV screen. Our village seemed too small to be affected by this. After all, what kind of conflict could you have with a shoemaker from the edge of town that you went to school with? Or with the baker's children from the neighboring street that played soccer with your children in the evenings? We were so naive then. I remember that night, our last quiet evening. We had used all my accumulated vacation time and taken a long trip. Our second honeymoon, as my wife called it. We'd just come home. It was the last night I could sit at home just watching TV. Anwar, dear, come to bed. Yes, of course. I just wanted to get caught up to speed. It's been almost a month since I watched the news. You have to be at work early tomorrow, but you remember. So what's new? Nothing important. I've already turned it off. Right, so I don't know if that's our main character or if it's some civilian living in the village. We'll see about it. Either way, I think this is going to be a very interesting experience. Press any key. Well, we sure can do that. Salam, Wazir. Anwar, I'm happy to hear from you. Are you already on your way to work? Yes, Captain. First day back on the job. Well, hurry. A lot has happened in the month you were gone. When you get here, we'll take a service vehicle and check out the outskirts of the city. Civilians have been calling in tips about strange people there. Okay, Wazir. I got. I'm coming. Okay, so to select the unit to give him an order from the panel, use the left mouse button. If a context-based order, use the right mouse button. So, select and get into car. Simple enough. Well, that seems to have been our main character. And now he's driving and he, we need to get him to the army base. The pathfinding is pretty good. I mean, <laughs> uh, Hi, Chief. I'll take it back. You made it. I'll well, take it get back. In and let's go to the outskirts of the city. Wahid, the head of the police department, the next town over called. He asked to come and discuss something in person. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. There's the bottom for it. Exit vehicle. Hey, Chief, hop in and let's go. Ah. Apparently, we have come out of a both of them now. How was your vacation? We went to visit my wife's relatives in Lebanon. Sea and sun. It was good. I wanted to get back home, though. They show so much on TV. It's worse than it looks on TV. Some armed men and clerics from the other places have been exciting people. The nearby police station blew up. The military put up roadblocks. Yeah, I saw. What does Wahid want? I don't know. Someone shot up an army convoy near his town. Maybe he wants to talk about that. We'll find out soon enough. Stop here and wait for me. I'll have my radio on just in case, so you'll hear everything that goes down. Chief, if it's that serious, shouldn't I go with you? No, wait here.
And what? And what? Where are you? Elias, is that you? What, did you miss me? I took the chief to meet someone on the outskirts of town. I'm still there, waiting. Put it back on the job, eh? Come back soon. We're about to have tea. Oh, are you on duty today? Great. I think the chief will be finished soon, and we'll head back. Keep the kettle hot. I can see where this is going to go wrong. It's good to see you, Wahid. Who are these people? Why are they armed? Hello, Wazir. It's good to see you, too. They're my new friends, and if you're smart, they'll be yours, too. What are you talking about? The times are changing. These men are a new force I'm working with. In times like these, it's better to be a free agent, Wazir. They've got funds, weapons, and basically endless support from abroad. You watch TV, you know what's going on. The government is falling. I'm offering you a chance to join the winning side before it's too late. They won't touch you or your men. They might cut up a few of the Christians in your town, but that's just for show. It won't be significant, and they'll make you the leader. Hmm? What do you say? You were easily bought. You still can't forgive the higher-ups for not making you a colonel and sending you to Damascus, can you? And now here's your chance to get revenge, eh, Wahid? You won't be working in my town, not while I and my men are around. Don't be so naive, Wazir. You said yourself, while I'm around. What do you think these men are here for? Damascus only has a few weeks left. We've been given enough money and arms to make us unstoppable. Yesterday, we took out an army convoy near my town, and now our main forces are on the way. What will you be able to do against tanks? I'm sick of all this talk! Either he gives the command for his men to lay down their arms, or I- Anwar, did you get all that? Get back to the station and sound the distress call. Get ready for an attack. Ilias, Ilias, they killed the boss. Those jackals killed Wazir. And what? What do you mean? Who killed him? I didn't see them, I only heard the conversation. Wazir said something about men with weapons. They told him we had to let them into our city. Sound the alarm, take up defense. Got it, I'm already raising our defenses. We got a platoon out for training that set out this morning, but I can't reach them now. Try to go find them and bring them back into the city. We'll have to hold out until then. Yes, I'm on my way to them, hold on. Okay, so police building, a very strong building, and we can pause the game. Let's see here. We have a police squad ready. Hello, Karim. Ilyas, do you know what time it is? Why are you calling so early? Get up, we need you at work, ASAP. It's my day off, what happened? The chief is dead. Some dogs attacked the city. Incoming enemies. And water went out for reinforcements, and we're defending the station. Do you have your rifle with you? Of course I do. Okay, my brother, I will be there soon. Here they come. We are currently defending the police house. Grenades. The infantry com combat is actually not that bad. Yeah, snipers coming in. Mahmoud! Mahmoud, brother, it's me, Ilias. We've been attacked. Mahmoud, I heard shots. Who attacked us? I don't know, but there are a lot of them, and they've come with combat vehicles. Wazir said you have an RPG buried in your yard from the war with Israel? Gosh, I'm sorry, what? What kind of Arab would I be if I didn't have an RPG buried in my yard? I'll get my sons and I'll be there soon. What kind of comment was that? Oh well. We have snipers now and we also have the police. The standard police water. Yeah. Uh, strike 2 is their call sign and Brawler 1 is the sniper call sign. Let's see here, we most likely have more tangos coming in. Yeah, from the other side. They are currently- The enemy took one of the buildings on the way. We can take it back. Get to it! Okay, here they come. It is in your hands. We and our detachment are returning from the checkpoint. We've got a flat tire on the pickup. But the soldiers brought us an oral. And water! It's a massacre over here! Hurry! Well, it's not a massacre of our forces, really. Okay, so smoke grenades can be used to cover our advance. Sounds reasonable enough. 
The controls so far have been very in tune. I can't pronounce the word. Uh, very easy to use at least. Let's see if where our... We're still going to defend the police station, so... And we have men on the roof, so there we go. Looks like that is an Al Nusra squad. Great. It's going to be a little tight with ammunition. So that would all is going to come in handy. Okay, so we got a transport here laden down with troops. However, that also means we might want to check for ambushes. We know that the enemy are in or used to be in this house. But currently, the squad, yeah, the squad needs to be on that. Oh. I don't want you to leave the house, I just want you to shift your location so you can actually defend the other side, please. You people go to that street. It's very important you do not cross the other street. Oh god, they're entering the building. This is not gonna end well. Reinforcements on the way. Everyone out. Our guys are still at the roof defending against the enemy. The army section is now also moving into the police station. Hopefully we can use that in order to clear out the terrorists. No, they seem to have ma made a beeline for the roof actually. So that's Warden Squad. Let's see here. Okay, we got it coming. Brother, stay inside! Look how many of these jackals are here! They are well prepared! The station is well defended! It shouldn't fall! Okay, what I'm lacking so far in this game is a method to easily shift where my forces are standing. It might be that they're doing this automatically, but... <coughs> Apologies for that. I'm currently running at home, so... Okay, so crew member in the car is down, and we got more enemies running for the police station. We need to keep up the fire, prevent the enemies they're from the getting in Surrender, those dogs will despair our life! <coughs> okay, so we got some enemies in this house and enemies currently running inside. Those RPGs. I mean, even if he had one in his backyard, how come he has so much ammo for it? Maybe that is what being being yeah told right now that he has he's out of ammo for it. We're causing heavy casualties amongst the enemy. The Albus right. Currently the enemy are also loaded up in buildings. Interesting, without a squad in it, we can't actually move the Ural transport. That is actually a very interesting mechanic. Sniper! Take him out. Bad enough we get only got this side, but we need to worry about this one side at this time. Trained armed men have taken the mosque. They've desecrated the house of Allah. People, gather up. They're desecrating our mosque. We must expel the blasphemers in Allah's name. Okay, so does that mean we... We get the uh, civilian reinforcements or that we... Yeah, we need to capture the mosques. Alright, 
All troops stand by to counterattack the mosque. In fact, I think we're gonna leave one rifle squad here to suppress the enemy from advancing. We can use the rest of the force to move up the street and retake the mosque. You, in there. You, shift. You, in there. You, in there. You, in there. We're taking up positions in the buildings around the mosque. Enemy in the tower. Also a vehicle at the far end. Apparently I can't throw a smoke right now. Alright, I want you guys to move behind the cover of the building. That will put you in the fidel of the vehicle. Then you'll get into the house. Go! Now! Get in there. Good. The squad is in there now. And we should be able to relocate our Listen sniper. to the shout from outside! I think the people are storming the mosque themselves! No, just get butchered. We have to help them. Alright, so we have... Our troops firing on the vehicle. Hello, who is it? Anwar, this is Majid Butcher. We're storming the mosque. We can't let those hounds desecrate our sacred place. Help us! Oh, this is not gonna end well. We got angry civilians. At least we have uh, made sure that the enemies are currently firing at something else. But that might just be a temporary thing. Strike 2 squad, prepare to enter the mosque. Warden 5, you're also on the mosque. Go. The civilian seems to be taking heavy casualties. My team is moving in now. The house ne next to the mosque is going to be a tricky one to clear. Let's see how it goes at the police station. The police station looks good. My men are now taking up positions in the mosque. They'll have good firing positions on both the vehicle and the house next to the mosque. RPG team, move inside the mosque. Warden 5, since you just got some exercise cleaning out houses, I got another house for you to clean out. Go get them. Come in, Wazir. This is Al Din. What's going on? Colonel, this is Lieutenant Anwar Amin. Captain Wazir is dead. We're under attack. What? Did those devils get to you too? Ah, Wazir was a good man. 
Report the situation over there, Lieutenant. The enemy has been attacking us since morning. They seem to be terrorist groups. They're well armed and they're attacking from multiple sides. We're holding the entrances to the city, but I'm not sure how much longer we'll be able to do it. Understood, Lieutenant. Hold on. And I'll ask the army to send you some backup. In the meantime, I'll send you whatever I can find here. <coughs> okay, so we got reinforcements now. Uh, cost command points. Yeah. We can get police snipers and we can get police RPGs. So we're gonna get a few of each. I think we're gonna get some police transport and Vanguard. We have arrived. Great. Take up your positions and prepare to fight. The enemy is regrouping to attack again. Okay, we're gonna put uh, police, uh, police snipers and police RPG at this building. We're gonna reinforce the police headquarters with one police squad, and that should be it for now. I'm considering putting a squad here or here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have an advanced squad going on here, actually. They're on the move. I hope we're ready. Yeah, so do I. So, Sniper, relocate to this position instead. You'll have far better opportunities to fire from that location. I don't know where they will be coming from, however, and that's going to be the tricky part. They might come from the top and engage the mosque again, or they might go for the police house. Considering that the police station is heavily defended, I wouldn't recommend them to go that way, but most of our combat experience which are currently at the mosque with heavy support, so they can go either way, really. Apparently, we need to fortify the mosque's territory and fortify the police territory. That means they will come from this direction. So I'll send snipers and RPG men. The mosque is already as fortified as we can make it. But we'll set up the up troops. Looks like we got some nice vision along this valley now, too. I have to say, as an RPG, this game is... <clears throat> I'm trying to find the right word, but it's, it's, it feels dated. It doesn't feel like it's a modern game. It's certainly not one that came out within the last year or so. But as an RPG, it's pretty competent. I mean, it has some nice, nice um, mechanics going on to it. It has a different speed, and the gameplay is actually pretty competent. Now, of course, the story is ridiculous, but I can live with that. There aren't many RTSs who actually have a a good story with expensive voice actors and stuff like that. <coughs> Some it's... idiot is speeding toward us in a car! Oh. It's a suicide bomber! The car's packed full of explosives! Shoot him now before he blows us all to smithereens! Okay, this could be tricky. RPG, get on that! Shoot it! Shoot it now! Shoot it! Shoot it quicker! Shoot it quicker! Oh god. Crap. We got it, but at the expense of heavy casualties. RPG gunners, relocate. Your cover is useless.
fall back. I say again, you will fall back to the police station. The troops on the roof here are... Oh god, they're using grenades. They're gonna storm the house any second now. Once these infantry have been dealt with, these troops will be ordered to fall back to the police station. This, they can't hold that position. All right, move it. Leg it. That means you run. I say again, you run. You get out of there. The position cannot be held and you are needed at the police station. Oh, crap. Enemy... Enemy car. Sure Sergeant Abdullah Amani. Come in. Can anyone hear me? This is Lieutenant Anwar Amin. Sergeant, are you reinforcements we were promised? I didn't expect you so soon. Affirmative. We were given an order to be ready to move out, but the checkpoint was attacked by suicide bombers and an IFC. We weren't prepared for that kind of onslaught. The checkpoint is done for. Everyone died. We only managed to get the sappers out. We need support. We, we don't have enough fuel to get to you. Copy that. We'll figure something out. Look, Anwar. Old man Hassan's fuel truck. We can use it to fuel up at the IFV. Okay, so there's a fuel mechanic in place. I like that. Let's see here. I don't know about you, but I don't really reckon getting a fuel truck past that house is going to be easy. Police squad strike two. That house is yours. You'll take it and secure against the enemy. Snipers and RPGs, you keep them covered. More than five, move up to the house and provide covering fire. I have to say, the room clearing is pretty damn sweet. I mean, the fact that they're jumping over the walls, they're throwing grenades, stuff like that. I like that. I mean, when it comes to the room clearing, they have really done their homework, and it shows. All right, more than five, you're up. You're going for the next house. Strike two will keep you covered. It is. Quite a long time since I've seen a game where moving from house to house matters this much. I mean, many RPG, uh, 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 sorry, not RPGs, uh, many real-time strategy games have a focus on garrison buildings and stuff like that, but clearing them is usually a matter of destroying the house. That was true even for Company of Heroes and stuff like that. Here, destroying a house seems to be far more difficult to do. And this makes the entire experience with houses that change sides and stuff like that a lot more alive, I would say. So, we're sending our fuel truck here, covered and ready. We have snipers and we have, let's see, we have a police squad. We're gonna send Falcon in there. Uh, snipers. Snipers on RPG can also stay there. I will use the fuel tanker to fuel up the BMP. We are ready to move, Lieutenant. The sappers are rearing to hand those bastards a couple of surprises. It might be a good move to mine the road from your checkpoint. Those jackals may try to send the IFB, they attacked you in that way. Okay, so we got sappers. Let's see how to use the mines. I know I just saw the tutorial, but 
Oh wait, that's the tank. These are the engineers. And the personnel mines. So, tank crew, you can get back in there. You can cover them while they work. Let's see here, we need to get in mines from that road. Oh, they don't have more mines than that. Get back in there, and you people are taking that fuel truck back somewhere safe. It is also a nice thing to see that they actually bothered to model the BMP doors. We're gonna move the BMP to the police station so it can act in support of the assault there. The mosque is nice and everything, but currently the mosque is actually holding and not under any serious attack. Also, do note that we have the limited ammunition here. Alright, so we got tangos moving up. There seems doesn't seem to be a way for me to force an order now. Oh wait, now it is. It just wanted to fire around first. Well, I, I I do want to give you people to shoot at, so could you please go to the people I want you to shoot at? Now, where did the BMP go? I lost it. Yeah, there it is. There seems to be a problem with the orders. Once it detects enemies, it wants to engage at once. It doesn't want to... Lieutenant? Are you in charge here now? Your captain was a fool, but maybe you're a little smarter. Our main force will be here in no time, and you will be helpless to resist. The army checkpoints are gone. Don't let the sacrifices your people have made be in vain. Give the orders to take down arms. Never! Then you'll meet the same fate as Wazir. It seems like he trained his people to be as dumb as he was. A new power is coming to Syria, and I'm going to be given a high post for joining the right side early. How can you choose to die in this hole over money and power? I won't forget you, Lieutenant. You killed my captain, you scum! I'll find you and I'll put you down like the dog you are! And no money, and no power will help you then! When the new government comes in, we'll slit your and your family's throats. You understand the whole world is on our side? We've unlimited access to weapons and money. How much longer do you think you can hold out? You can't possibly combat the forces behind them. The captain taught me to live an upright life. If I have to, I will die, but I will do it with honor and dignity. I have nothing more to say to you, you dirty dog. The insults doesn't really feel convincing. I would like to hear what the Russian voiceover would sound like if there are any, because I'm kinda convinced. Lieutenant, people are calling about terrorist vehicles on the outskirts of town. Tell everyone to take shelter! Okay, we might have more suicide bombers income than either that or tanks. All right, Falcon One, that house is yours. Go. Just get in there. Alright. So, we got enemies on top. But they're not going the route where we put the mines. That's annoying. They are, however, going in a route where we had... Come on. They're gonna need BMP support. Just go down the road. This squad is cut off and will not be able to help that much more.
Enemy IFB. Primary target. Engage it. Yeah! We got a hit on it. This is Colonel Aldin, Lieutenant. Are you alive? Yes, Colonel. Just barely. Nobody's doing well. It seems they've begun a serious attack on the region. Some of our people have fled. Some have sided with the terrorists. Some under duress. Others of money. I know. Wahid already made us an offer. Wahid? I suddenly understand what happened to that convoy near their village. We cannot give you any more support. You'll have to make do as you see fit. What now, Lieutenant? We really pissed them off resisting. When they're through with us, there won't be anything left in town. I'll call the Imam and tell him to gather the people. Tell them to take their cars and leave the city. We'll cover them. Hello? Majid Hodja, sir. I have bad news. We're running out of time. We can't hold the city much longer. What are you saying? You and your people should leave immediately. Those fanatics will spare no one. Call the elders and have them warn the others. Take the things you cannot do without and flee the city. We'll try to hold them off as long as we can. Very well, Anwar. It's all in Allah's hands now. Be strong. I'm organizing the evacuation. The throw grenades at my IMB. will leave on their own. I'm trying to find a bus for the others. Attention, the enemy makes heavy use of suicide bombers. If a vehicle approaches you at high speed, shoot everything you have at it. Don't let them get close enough to damage our fortifications. Protect the bus, we can't lose it. It's the only way out for our families. Oh, looks like these guys are still alive. Well, fun's over, lads. Join up with the others at this position now, while you still have the time. Incoming suicide bomber. Fuck. Put some rounds into that thing. We missed it. Hit. Alright, get back there. Fall back to the police station. IFV, advance. We got all more enemies incoming on the down road. Enemy suicide bomber has been destroyed. Hold near the police station. Put all fire on the, those bastards. Incoming vehicle. IV, this one's yours. Fire! I said fire! God damn it. Fall back to the mosque. Evacuate. Another vehicle coming in. All yours, boys. Take it out! At least the enemy seems to be not really in the mood to oh crap. We got it coming. Engineers, get out of there. Listen carefully, take the children and everything you can carry and make a run for the bus. It's in front of Aunt Medina's house. Quiet woman, do as I say. I'll find you later. Just leave. The BMP took a hit in the compartment, so it had to evacuate the troops, but it can still fight. There are two enemy damaged IFVs in the front yard at least, so but I don't have any tank crews for them. I'm 
My guys doesn't have that much ammunition left. Sniper, take the shot. That got him. Roll up on him. Take him out. Oh crap. Car! Car! Destroy that car. The enemy is rushing out. Oh crap, I forgot to evacuate the fuel tanker. So, run for it. Oh, that's a vehicle. Nice. Ah, I can't capture my... I can't capture... The BMPs with this vehicle crew, sadly. I wish I could. Alright, that seems to be it for them. 9 out of 12 civilians has been evacuated, so... We only need to keep this up. Another car, moving fast, past the barricades. We'll move the BMP to cover the bus. I'm also gonna move one of my police police squads in order to cover the bus. The bus is heading out Anwar, now. Everyone who's gonna leave has left. There's no point in holding the city anymore. Gather everyone. Tell them our team is retreating for now. And I swear on my father's memory, I'll be back. Looks like we made it. We lost three soldiers, destroyed 12 enemy uh, vehicles, uh, killed 193 enemies, and we actually earned command points for that, while we lost 30 command points for the soldiers we lost. So far I'm actually impressed with this game. It looks rather simple, but its mechanics are both easy to use and have a certain depth to them. I don't really approve of the historical notes here because Notice how the stuff like moderate opposition backed by the West is in quotations, so... And then we have fueled by the Turkish government, uh, aspiring to regain control over that once wealthy Ottoman Empire region, yeah. Uh, so, you'll, if you get this game, you have to consider the fact that it has the Russian twist on the Syrian civil war, but I don't actually mind that all that much. It's interesting to see a different angle, of course. And the gameplay is pretty, pretty damn solid. I'm not sure I will record more of this, but I will most certainly play more of it. I mean, it's quite fucking fun to play. And so far, they seem to actually try a bit with the story. So, that's it for now.